Today we're having a quick look at how to program PIC chips using the microchip PIC kit programmer. We'll not be looking at programming techniques or coding or anything like that. That's, as you know, I run a couple of workshops in JAL programming, so that's a separate discussion. Why do we want to look at programming chips in that case? There are two reasons. We might want to become a programmer and the benefit of programming chips is you can program them over and over again. You write a program, you can make changes and program the same chip as many times as you, as you want effectively. But probably most likely we want to program chips to upgrade uh, existing kits. The MER kits come with pre-programmed chips, but along the way there are updates or modifications or errors uh, taken out, extra features added and so on. And if you've already built the kit, you want to be able to uh, access those extra features. This is the Servo 4 board from Merg that handles four servers. As you can see, it's a revision K, but in fact now there's a version 4M. And there's been previous versions going way back to 4A. So you might want to upgrade this board. How do you do it? Well, the board has got a five pin connection there called J8 and it's called the ICSP connection in circuit serial programming you can program the chip while it's still in that board with a, a particular a programming cable there's the overview of the process there's your computer and you either write your own program or maybe you download the file as you saw straight from the Merg website. If you program it, you convert your own program into what's called a hex file or you download from the, the Merg website the hex file. That's the code that you want to put into the PIC. And you plug in a USB cable into your laptop or your desktop through the programmer module and in through the ICSP socket I mentioned a moment ago into the PIC. So that's the process. Here we have a very simple piece of Vero board with a PIC chip on it and the bare minimum components to be able to program it. And down the left hand side, there's the ICSP connection. Brings the power in, the programming voltage, and then the data to program it, synchronized by the clock. In this example, I'm showing only three particular outputs. And to make it simple, I won't show you upgrading the Servo 4. I'll use this board because we can then more easily see the results of the programming. So here we have the five pins of the ICSP connector. It's the same pin configuration as is used in the MERC kits. So a five wire cable has to go from the module you want to program back to the PIC programmer. Unfortunately, the PIC programmer configuration of its pins don't match up with those for the MERG kits. MERG's layout is for historical reasons we won't have to go into, but we have to match pin for pin, we have to have the ground go to the ground, the clock go to the clock and so on. You'll see the clock here and the data actually have to be reversed and the same with here.
we can use a programming cable and all we have to do then is twist the actual wires to get the correct pin configuration at both ends. I insert a matchstick or a cocktail stick in here and that means you can't plug it in by mistake the wrong way around. Alternatively, you can use some kind of uh, adapter board to do the, the change round for you. So let's look at a practical example. There's the same board. I'm going to use GP5 output through a resistor and a LED up to the 5 volt supply. I'm going to make that LED flash. There's a very simple program for it, I have to go into it, but put the LED on, wait a while, put it off and wait a while and carry on looping around. So that'll flash off and on every second. That's the program as written as code, but that has to be compiled, turned into machine code and here we have the compiled version into hex. A series of machine code instructions that the PIC chip will carry out once it has been programmed. And that's the file we want to transfer into the PIC. So once you've plugged the programmer into your computer and connected the programmer to the PIC, we have to run the software. This is the software that comes with the microchip PIC Kit 2, very similar to the versions of PIC Kit 3. And let's have a look at what it can do for us. When we first run the software, the PIC Kit checks whether it is connected to an actual chip. And if the PIC kit finds it is, interrogates it and reports back what it's found. It's found that the device attached to the programmer is a 12F675 chip. It's been found. And at that stage, we have a choice. We can check whether the PIC already has any contents. You may have picked up one by mistake that's already programmed and you don't want to overwrite it. We can check there. If you click that and it reports back in this window that it's empty, you can proceed. Or, if you know you want to overwrite it, you can simply click Erase. We'll look at that uh, a little bit from a loop, from a show you in practice. Anyway, we now know we have a, a virgin pick we can program. So what do we do? First thing to do is to fetch the hex file we looked at a moment ago. And once we've loaded that file, we can write the hex file to the PIC. It will report that it's done it successfully, but you can, if you wish, click verify. And it compares the original hex with what it reads off the PIC. So that's the process. Before we look at a practical demonstration, let's just for a moment go back and re recall that the PIC chip, the 675 chip, has got a block of, m of memory that stores the main program and a block of memory that stores values after the chip is powered down. For example, our friend the Servo 4 board has got all the servo settings stored in the data memory EEPROM. We don't want to lose those, so you have a choice. You'll see here, when you come to write your program, you can write, if you click that box there, you're going to write to the main program memory. If you click there, 
you will write also to the EEPROM. If you want to save your EEPROM values, you untick that and you only write your upgraded Servo 4 program. Right, here we have the little pick kit board. You'll see the ICSP connector here. I've put a LED onto GP5 as I, as I said I would. There's the power with the way to the 5 volt supply. Here's the pit kit too. This end heading off to the computer. This end being my 5 way connector. I'm going to connect to the board. And we're ready to program. Right, we have the hardware all assembled. Let's pull up the programming software. Let's go to the pick kit 2. It's found the 12F675. Let's import the hex. I've got it in documents folder, flashing.hex. You'll now see the contents of the hex file here. I'll click right. And you'll see in a moment that the lead will flash. working. We could click verify and it tells us that the contents of the pick are the exact same as the original hex file. The pick has been programmed.